1975, Queen began recording their fourth album, A Night at the Opera. At the time, it would be the most expensive album ever made. It was painstaking. We were using sort of four studios at once at one point, and, and there'd be a different member in each studio doing different things. Speeding and stopping the machines and slowing them down and speeding them up again and, um, and recording that. It seemed to take forever, actually. For four months, the band overdubbed track after track. We really did take it to it, so the tape was, with all the oxide was almost worn away. It was actually transparent in, in places. The result was a sprawling, diverse album, which indulged the band's influences from music hall to opera. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the bandango? We were sort of almost showing off what we could achieve in the studio. Oh yeah, but making records in the 70s was a, a lot of fun. You usually own the studio, like uh, you'd block book it. You would live in that studio for two months. You'd have uh, ping pong tables, pool tables, dartboards. The record company's role was simply to write the check. So yeah, they, you know, the, the, the idea of anyone going to a Queen album session and discussing the merits of the songs with Freddie Mercury and Brian, pretty unlikely, you know. They knew what they were doing.